But why did the killer go to the trouble of making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? The reason the killer made a fake video... There's only one possibility I can think of. And if I examine that possibility thoroughly... And naturally, the killer's identity will reveal itself. Huh? You feed! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? The only one! You're the killer, aren't you? Um, what are you talking about? Like I said, aren't you the killer who murdered Ibuki and Hyoko? Possible? A chick like her as the killer? She couldn't even kill a fly. In fact, the fly would probably kill her first. She's right! Uh, a clumsy slowpoke like me killing someone? That's completely out of the question! But we're the only one. Thanks to that video, we're the only ones who have the advantage of an alibi. An alibi? Was that the killer's goal? Now that you mention it, you guys brought that up earlier. Only Hajime and Mikan have an alibi. You're the only one who could have filmed that video in the hospital conference room. Is that also a coincidence? You said you were going to the on call room, but you actually went to the conference room. That's when you put on a hospital gown that you prepared in advance, put the bag on your head, and began filming. By doing that, you made up a video that showed Ibuki trying to hang herself at the music video. And showed that to me. Furthermore, I saw that video at the hospital lot. If someone wants to go to the conference room from outside, they have to pass through the lot. 
So it's impossible that someone who wasn't already in the hospital went to the conference room to film. Not only that, the others in the hospital, Akane and I, were both delirious from the despair disease. So that must mean... It's not literally impossible. Can't you give a better defense than that? She shows she can't even do that. Hey, you sure this chick is really the killer? Wrong! It's totally wrong! It's not what you think! Just like Akane said, it is really hard to tie it all together. I mean, Mikon is the killer? I agree. It is truly difficult to believe someone could be killed by such a slow-witted woman. That slow-witted remark is not necessary. Hajime? Do you still believe this woman is the killer? Mm, do you hate me that much, Hajime? Hey, Hajime! Uh, um... Hold on a minute. Well, I know I'm being intrusive and all, and I mean, I have no place to say this. I missed all of the critical parts, and I doubt I have anything worth saying at an important time like this. What are you saying? There's definitely no way I can overlook the kill this time. I thought it was suspicious all along, from the very beginning. Investigating with a suspect in mind creates a different result than investigating with no leads. Hey, what are you trying to say? Well, thanks to that, 
I was able to discover a truth that nobody else knows. What? Are you serious? I've been so focused on everybody else's trial. But I guess now's a good time to say it, right? You better not have kept quiet on purpose. This isn't a game, you know! Actually, this is a game! Please don't say such controversial statements! Well, what do you know, Nagito? Well, it's nothing big, really. Only a small, decisive clue that points to the killer. Damn! That's a huge deal! A decisive clue! Does something like that really exist? Let's take a look, shall we? Regarding the rope Ibuki was dangling from. This rope was supplied by the supermarket, right? There weren't any ropes inside the music venue. Again with the supermarket? That place is a hot spot for criminal goods. If they got it at the supermarket, that means it was brand new, right? What's wrong with that? I want you to take a close look at this rope. And keep in mind that it's brand new. Near the middle of the rope, it's frayed, as if it was rubbed strongly. But why is it like this? The loopy boogie used to hang herself is on one end of the rope. And the part of the rope that hung from the baton lighting is on the other end. Hey, you're taking too long. What's wrong with the rope being frayed? It means... Well, from what I can infer, I think the rope was used like this. Killer wrapped the rope around Ibuki's neck, pulled both ends at full strength, and strangled her. The center of the rope is frayed because that's the part they used to strangle Ibuki. I've been listening to you for a while, and it sounds like you knew about this rope clue all along. What exactly did you say to me during the investigation? Not everyone cooperates at a class trial. Those who lie and conceal the truth will obviously be here too. Just like this case is killer. I was just copying them a little bit. Huh? More importantly, what was all that about the rope? The killer strangled Ibuki. And then... And then... I finished speaking. Notice it. I thought I made the decisive clue very clear.
Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. The Monokuma file complicates this too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Whoever misunderstood is to blame! Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same. No hanging and strang- The scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Crap! Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very thick. The scars they leave would look different. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a- The Monokuma file complicates this too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, the scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was obviously we'd assume it was the Monokuma file complicates this too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. Crap! Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, the scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the- But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. The Monokuma file complicates this too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Die from hanging. 
She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Go hanging and strangled the scars they leave. Scars? E but we believed it was from a Hank. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? That must be it! So that's what happened. We've been falling for the killer's lie this whole time. said Ibuki hanged herself, but that was a complete lie, wasn't it, Mika? That is... well... You told us the wrong cause of death. You lied, didn't you? <laughs> you should have been able to tell the difference between hanging and strangling just by looking. You, Mikon, the ultimate nurse. Please, wait! For the first of all, I'm not a coroner, so I don't have the medical knowledge to identify injuries like that. That's why it's not my fault if I made a mistake. You, you are right. And you have been a great help to us so far. But even a drunk medical student can notice the difference between a hanging and strangulation. I'm not taking her side or anything, but being clumsy and unskilled in this area could lead to a mistake. He's totally right! <laughs> I'm such a clumsy mess, and I got so careless! Mikon nursed me till I got better. There's no way I'm gonna doubt her. Don't you think her devotion to nursing is what helped her draw Ibuki to her death? Huh? And if not, her symptoms were still very serious and caused her to believe what anybody told her. It wouldn't surprise me if she willingly followed Mikan because she was nursing her. So, so Mikan volunteered to nurse us? Cause she was planning to do this all along? That's a little... Aren't you like the thief who suspects everyone else of being thieves? I'm not a criminal. Mikan is. I mean... She's a killer, you know. You've got it all wrong! Please forgive me! I'm sorry, but there's no way I can forgive you. I just can't forgive this crime at all. Um, forgiveness or not, we still have not decided if Mikon is the killer. <sighs> hmm, I see. You guys are kind. Well, if that's the choice everyone makes, then the only thing I can do is back off, I guess. But is that really okay? Is that everyone's hope? Annoying! If you keep talking, I'm seriously gonna beat you up! <laughs> I'm really, really not the killer! <laughs> There's no way! <laughs> I'm capable of killing someone! Is that really 
true? Stop it already! That's enough! I can't stop! I don't want to do this either! Of course I don't want to do this! But I need to do this! You doubt your friends? That's not it! I suspect them because I want to believe them. Well, what the hell does that mean? Um... I don't think belief and doubt are necessarily opposites. I do doubt her, but I still want to believe her. Belief lies at the heart of that conflict. Cause, if there's no room for doubt, then there's no reason to believe, is there? D don't say deep stuff. I don't really get it. If you want to believe in someone, you need to overcome doubt first. Belief without doubt is simply a lie. Fine. Do whatever you want. I won't stop you anymore. you can say. Ah, so in the end, you're all just a bunch of bullies, huh? Justifying your actions with fancy words. Making excuses for why it's not really your fault. <laughs> Everyone always treats me like that. <laughs> She's the one with the problem! I'm done with that! You hear me? I'm done! Hey, hey! Mika! It's not fair. It's not fair. 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 You forgive yourself right away! What did I do? Why won't anybody forgive me? Is acting like this your strategy now? This is your point. Plus, to be honest, we've run out of ideas. How can we get you to it? That's the issue. If we don't have any clues, why don't we have her give us some? I'm... the same as Hajime. I don't want to doubt any of my friends. But still, the truth is one of us murdered two of our friends. We gotta stick with this until the very end, so we can finally break these chains of despair. Hey, Mikan, can I ask you one last thing? If you're not the killer, then who fabricated that video Hajime watched? Like I said, it obviously wasn't me! Can you prove it? Prove it? Wait! Do 
you have any tweets that I'm the one who fabricated that video? really okay. She's emotionally unstable. I can't think of anybody else other than you who could have filmed that video. Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. We can't think of anybody who could have filmed that. Huh? Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? I'll shoot through that contradiction! Mikan, you've committed a major mistake. Mistake? As I said before many times, I'm the only one who saw that video. <laughs> What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle. So 
so how can you make Say anything about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself. The only reason me caught you the camera angle Hajime had seen is because you're the person who actually filmed that video. Is that right? This is your just reward. The more desperately you argue, the deeper you dig yourself into a hole. You lied, didn't you? You serious? Is it true, Mikan? Did you... Did you kill Hiyoko and Ibuki? Ah! <laughs> Forgive me! Huh? Huh? Wrong! Wrong! No, no! That's not it at all! That's not it? I mean... It's impossible... You know that hemp bag Ibuki was wearing when she died? Try remembering the tote bag instead. I totally remember now. What the heck's wrong with her? She's getting weirder by the minute. That tote bag... Isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video? How do you know so much about that video? <laughs> Who cares about that? More importantly, did you know that bag is a limited item that was sold at the movie theater? Hajime saw it too, didn't you? You remember the Usami decal on it, right? Whoopsie! Don't worry about it. I remember even if you don't. Ta-da! There's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. So don't you think it's impossible? Using one tote bag in both the conference room and the music venue at the same time? It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? That's why that video isn't fabricated. And I'm not the killer. So you'll forgive me, right? Taking your stubbornness this far. Such despair. Then you're gonna forgive me? I won't stop until you forgive me!
fall off. Oh, shit. Has she lost it for good? Will you forgive me? You'll forgive me, right? Isn't that right? You're obviously gonna forgive me, right? Should have received another one as a bonus prize. Which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. So please, just stop making desperate excuses! Desperate struggle is finally coming to an end. Why does everybody always hate me? You should just forgive me already! Nikon, it's already over. After I go over your crime from the beginning and show that you have no arguments left. Please, just admit it already. In the end, at least let me believe in you.
everything that happened in this case. The key to this incident is the surveillance camera video that only I saw. That's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. When I went to the hospital with Nikon this morning, I noticed a specific thing in the lobby. The incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. When I switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... A person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. That surveillance camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music video. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music video, so I immediately headed over there. But that was the killer's trap. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. By doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time. When in fact, the crime had already been committed by that point. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. I didn't know that, so I went to the music video and found the hanged body wearing a bag on its head. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. But. That was also part of the killer's trap. After cleaning the conference room, the killer was likely watching the music video from outside. And, as if they were switching places with me, they went inside the music video and began working on their last trick. First, the killer peeled off the wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars, revealing Kyoko's body. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper, or have Kyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music video, but... When they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. However, they did this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked from the inside. In actuality, the reason the music venue became a closed room was because of the glue. The killer sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. With that, the killer finished tampering with the crime scene and met up with Fuyuhiko. They helped us force open the music venue door, despite the fact that they personally sealed it. They made us discover not just Ibuki's body, 
but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but... Inside, they were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Isn't that right, Mikan? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? It seems your arguments have reached a conclusion. So let's proceed to our regularly scheduled voting time! Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote! Who will be chosen as the Blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Let's go!
Hey, hey. That's obvious. I... What? Perhaps... See? Right.
for the sake of my beloved. Huh?
me.
Hey.
Hey. Indeed. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! So it's over. It's really... Now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. I can finally see them! Please forgive me, the one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Let me ask.
Isn't that right?
Hey! Looking for me? Could it be? What the? Yo! I've kept you waiting! Hey! What's going on? Perhaps you don't remember my face since we haven't seen each other in a while. That's pretty sad, you know? That's too much! <laughs> Um, who are you? Huh? You too? What's going on? If you're messing with me, I'll stop doing it to you. Um, Nekomaru? Haven't you noticed it yourself? What do you mean, noticed? Oh, you mean this body? <laughs> this is nothing! Nekomaru Nidai! I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! <laughs>